tonight. From the Caesars Superdome in New Orleans. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. First open back in 1975, there's a look inside the iconic Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here, as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the New Orleans Saints. from the Superdome. On the return, here's Rashid Shaheed. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So here come the Saints to take over for the first time. And here's the new man under center after nine seasons as a Raider. Derek Carr is the guy. It's going to take some time to adjust to seeing Carr running out in a new uniform instead of black and silver. It's black and gold. 35,000 yards and over 200 touchdowns with the Raiders. The Saints more than willing to let him air it out all game long to a talented group of pass catchers in the Big Easy. going to look to throw. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. From the 34-yard line, here's second down and five. To throw, it's Carr toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. From the gun, it's Carr. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Derek Carr, very precise thrower of the football. What's the game plan for going up against him? Yeah, it used to be take away the short stuff, I know, but he's more than a dink and dunker, right? And you are right about that. Great analysis of him because he has evolved as a thrower. Now he can push the ball downfield, but still, the number one things you want to take away, short passes, intermediate passes. So sharp, precise, and accurate, you've got to sit on those routes in order to cause him problems. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Second down, and it's Kamara again. And he's going to be met at about the 43. 
Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 32-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. we got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw his car. Goes right back to Smith again. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him and I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done you have to throw a number of coverages at him make him think as he's running downfield and hope you can create a little bit of havoc ball on the 27 here's second and five here's Carr and he'll get this one underneath to Kamara and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19 seven yards there and a first down I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it, and really gets them amped up as they go forward. Into the red zone, it's Carr. On oh, the slam complete to Michael Thomas. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. On second down, Kamara. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Saints will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Lutz with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So that was a long 11-play drive, and the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. Touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This fielded right at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So here are the Texans now with a fresh face at quarterback, the second overall pick from Ohio State, C.J. Stroud. In only two seasons, Stroud showed all he needed to at Ohio State. All-American, Heisman finalist, program records galore. He looked every bit like the number one overall pick 
He went number two, but Houston is thrilled to have him. First and ten, it's Stroud. Finds his man, it's John Mechie. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route, and the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. A man coming off a great rookie year, it's Damian Pierce. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. from the 47, it's second and five. The second down throw now from Stroud. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Cameron Jordan, what a play by him. That's gonna go as a loss of 13. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. For the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Stroud here on third and long. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And he'll take this to the 47, but no further as they get him down well short of the line to gain. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker, that the defense almost relaxed and said, we got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. On fourth down, here's Cameron Johnston on to punt for Houston. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. Well, just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive, their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They start the drive on the ground, Kamara. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through them. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. Brandon, five yards on that run. 
Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. From the 48 yard line, here's the second and five. Here's Carr to throw. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. Seven yards there at a first down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That tackle behind the line made by Will Anderson. They had three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. On play action, it's Carr. Going up top. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. Throwing his car on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. Saints going to send out Blake Gillikin to punt on fourth down here. Desmond King back deep. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. The last series form a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. They run with the former Buffalo Bill, Devin Singletary. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. A shotgun snap to Stroud. Over the middle, that's caught by Mechie. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. Stroud sets up the play action. That's to the veteran. It's Robert Woods. 
And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. Throwing now is Stroud. And that is incomplete here. Offense is moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Stroud now on second down. Open man is Noah Brown. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 36. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here goes Stroud again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Beck. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. And I like where this offense is going. I like what they're thinking because they want to spread the wealth and move the ball around. And they decide to get the fullback involved in these pass patterns as well. Normally, two-yard hitch or a little flare out of the backfield. But this time, they sent him downfield. He's able to make a big play. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Stroud to the air on first and ten. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Again, it's Drowned. Touchdown, Texans! Noah Brown from 10 yards out. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. After nearly 30 minutes of football, that touchdown puts us in a position where if they make the extra point, we're right back to even before we start the second half. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And the result, a Houston touchdown. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. First down is Carr. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. 
The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Shotgun now for Carr. There's Chris Olave. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Back to back, good plays have them on the move on first down. From midfield, here's Carr. They'll get this out to Kamara. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. But well, looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Alvin Kamara reeling it in on back-to-back -back plays. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. And looking at Houston defensively, they've got a dime set, six DBs on third. Again, they'll throw with Carr. Finding Johnson on the out route, that's complete. Oh, clock running as he's brought down, but now you can't spike it, it's fourth down. Nifty running there, but it'll come on what should be the final play of half number one. So a touchdown apiece, that's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room, 7-7 seven, seven hour score. Standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to EA Sports Halftime Report. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 our score. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. So here's the Texans offense now. They get set to start this third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. A run by Pierce begins the second half. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. 
Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. Now here's Stroud on third down. Quick slant to Brown. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. First and ten, it's Pierce. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second down and seven. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Seven yards there and a first down. Pierce with a motivated run there. And no surprise he's motivated this season after a late injury robbed him of a 1,000-yard campaign last year and potentially the rookie of the year. Even still, the fourth-round pick outplayed his slot with over 900 yards in 13 games. Stroud now on first and 10. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Singletary here running out of the gun. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Singletary with a good gain, and after four seasons and 3,100 yards in Buffalo, he signed with Houston this offseason. Welcome reinforcements for a ground game that was second to last in the NFL a season ago. On first down, here's Stroud. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Stroud on third down now. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. So on fourth down, Texan kicker Kaimi Fairbairn comes on. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. Fairbairn now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now 
Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense. And that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 22. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and ten. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Now Carr. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he is going to have a Saints first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Carr. Again, it's Johnson. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Ball on the 39. Here's the second down and four. A give to Kamara running right. And this will wind up a Saints first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. A quality run by Camaro, who's the same dependable and often spectacular back the Saints drafted in 2017. Another season of nearly 900 yards rushing and 500 receiving yards. They're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Motion left, Smith. And they'll fake the jet sweep there and instead hand to Kamara. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense was pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Throwing now is Carr. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 45-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there and for the offense, 
they're hoping that that's something that they can jump start with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Complete to Alave on the out route. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Kamara try the right side. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Carr going to throw. Completion left side to Miller. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Card out of throw. Open man is Michael Thomas. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. To throw, it's Carr. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. Yeah, you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? Here we go. First and goal. Now Carr. Good job over there, baby. I see y'all. Good job over there, baby. Will Anderson on the tackle. A four-yard loss on the play. Second and goal at the five-yard line. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And they're knocking on the door. Second and goal now in a one-score game. Second down, goal to go. Now Carr throwing on second down. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Saints have taken a fourth quarter lead. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, 
It worked. When you have plenty of people who catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target. And sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And a man out of the backfield gets in for the score. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it's polished off through the air with a touchdown to Alvin Kamara. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So Stroud and the Texans down 14-10, just under two minutes to go. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. Now Stroud. Finding Schultz. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn into a big game. Here's second down and three. Here's Stroud. And this one into the hands of Mechie. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got a hustle. They're going to get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Stroud to throw it. Into the hands of Singletary. They showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeout. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. Now second down and a few inches. Stroud. They're going to utilize them at the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Here's first and 10. To throw with Stroud. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You having to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Here's Stroud. Swings this one out wide for Pierce. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. They still got two timeouts. Got to start using them, don't they? You absolutely have to. You save them for this situation, but you have to use them. The sound reverberating here in the dome. This is third down. Stroud looks to throw. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. 
So this defense, they looked a little shaky to start the drive, but bottom line, they're a play away from finishing it off. They rocked them a little bit on this drive, didn't they? But as you and I both know, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. They have a chance to end it right here. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Stroud. Catch is made. It's Schultz on the out route. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. They'll come up first and ten here. One final shot for C.J. Stroud. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. Well, Charles, a pretty exhilarating finish to the end of this ball game. At the end, the Hail Mary prayers, though, they went unanswered. Could have won it, but couldn't get it done. Almost fell schoolyard or playground, didn't it? Yeah, you remember when you called that play? Everybody just go long and try and find someone open. They gave it a shot, but unable to successfully complete it. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Saints are winners here as we say so long from New Orleans.